Okay, I bet you you want to get out and fly this thing as quick as possible and you want to start building right now. But before you do that, um, I want to talk about finishing. Um, the nice appearance that you see here, well this is done prior to assembling the rocket. So while we're a typical rocket, you build the rocket first and then you apply the finish, the paint finish. This one we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do the paint finish first and then build it. And the reason for that is because of all these plywood pieces right here. When I was designing this, I was, I was trying to figure out how I was going to paint all this stuff. Do you, do you paint the plywood first before you build it? Or do you paint it after everything has been assembled? The problem with painting it after everything is assembled is you got all kinds of little nooks and crannies um, that you can't get paint in. So then you say, okay, let's paint it first. Well, the problem with painting plywood is if you painted this first, you could, you could definitely do that. You could apply a paint on, the, on both sides and that takes care of all the little nooks and crannies. The problem is when we assemble this thing, it's going to make it very difficult. Um, because the glue needs to stick directly to the wood. Glue doesn't really stick to paint very well because paint can flake off. So that's the other thing is how, how are we gonna, if we can't paint it, how do we get it finished? Like this, you know, the nice black legs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something completely different in, in rocketry than what you normally do. Uh, we're gonna use wood stain now, I, I picked a, a dark black wood stain because it hides everything. It hides all the grain. Um, so you want to find a nice black wood stain um, and then get um, the kind that's a, a dye stain. And the reason is dye is thinner, so it penetrates the wood really deep. And that's what we want because we, we want to hide all the wood grain. We don't want to really see it. Um, and this stuff here that I found is water-based, so it cleans up with water. So our process is we're going to take all the plywood pieces, except for, you know, like the centering rings. We don't need to do the centering rings. Um, and there's a couple of little tools in the, in the plywood, like this spacer here. And on this sheet right here, there's, some, there's a latch spacer and some glue sticks. You don't need to do those. Those you can pop right out. But leave everything else in the plywood because that way we can just paint it on and then flip it over and do the other side real quick and then we're not doing every piece individually. So that's going to save a lot of time. And we're going to stain the wood twice, um, but there's going to be, a, there's going to be a, a spread between the first time and the second time. The first time we stain it, um, it's going to look kind of um, grayish. Um, then to put in the second coat, we'll make it this nice dark black. But we want to assemble it first before we put that second coat on because after we assemble it, we're going to sand everything down and that's going to take off some of the stain. So that's why we're doing it later. So we're going to put one coat down first, assemble it, then put the other coat on and then do a final assembly. Um, and then in the meantime, the body tube, we're going to paint these first um, because everything is internal the way this is designed. We don't painting it afterwards, uh, we won't have, we need to do that. We can, we can paint it all first. Um, so go ahead and put primer on your body tubes, then paint it. Um, mine is all white, except for at the very, very bottom of the tube. And this is the, the bottom tube, one with the long slots in it. That's for our fins. Um, the, there's a black band on the very bottom. Um, <clears throat> and that's two and three eighths inches. So the bottom two and three eighths inches, uh, which is six centimeters if you're, in, if you're using metric, um, the bottom will be black, everything else is white, including the nose cone. So the two body tubes and the nose cone, go ahead and paint white, and then mask this off and paint the bottom six centimeters, just solid black. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll, we can come back later and paint the very bottom of the rocket. Um, that's, that's pretty easy to do. <clears throat> so I'm going to stop here, um, put a uh, plastic drop cloth on the table because this stuff is very messy um, so that we're not splattering anywhere. You might want to wear a, a paint smock. Um, this is very water thin, so it splatters everywhere. 
Um, so be prepared for that when you're using the wood stain. So in the next video, we'll just go ahead and start staining wood.